All right, we're going to use the intermediate value theorem to show that this equation here has at least one solution on the interval 0 to 1. So really quick mini lecture here. This is the intermediate value theorem, and it has a lot of notation, so it looks a little bit mysterious, but here's the basic idea. You have a function f, and it is continuous. You have an x value here that is a, and an x value here that is b. Therefore, you have a y value here that we call f of a, and we have a y value here that we call f of b. And we're going to pick some y value between f of a and f of b, and we're going to call that L. All the intermediate value theorem says is that this function hits a y value of L somewhere in between x equals a and x equals b. We give that x value a name, we call it c, and again at x equals c this function is hitting a y value of L, so we say f of c equals L. Now I'm going to shrink this graph down a little bit here. I'm going to move it to the side and make some space for our problem, and in our problem we're given a function 3x cubed plus x minus 1, and we're wondering where this function equals 0. And one thing you might notice is that f of 0, the y value of this function when x equals 0, is going to be 0 plus 0 minus 1 or negative 1. You might also notice that f of 1, or the y value when x equals 1, turns out to be 3. So what we have here is some function, and between the x values of 0 and 1, we know that this function goes from a y value of negative 1 up to a y value of positive 3. Well, the intermediate value value theorem says that since this function is continuous, we know that this function's y value must pass through 0 somewhere no matter how we draw it. And therefore this equation, which is the function set equal to 0, must have at least one solution between the x values 0 and 1. To word this a little bit more simply, because our function goes from having a negative y value at x equals 0 to having a positive y value at x equals 1, the intermediate value theorem says our function must pass through 0 somewhere in between x equals 0 and x equals 1. Therefore, 3x cubed plus x minus 1 must equal 0 somewhere between x equals 0 and x equals 1. And that is it for that problem. I hope that that helps you out, and I'll see you in the next problem of the day.